I want to go all the way back now to sort of when you sort of first joined the British um, Jewish community. Um, you joined uh, a synagogue called Kinlos in Finchley, and this was sort of 20 years ago, 20 odd years ago. And I found this out recently, but this, you know, and I, kn I know this community fairly well, but apparently it was, it was quite divided. It was sort of in disarray. There were sort of two camps, and they kind of weren't really engaging with one another. And you sort of jumped into the lion's den, so to speak, and really sort of helped to foster unity within that community. Can you just take me back to what happened? And how do you think this can be a template for how we can better foster unity within the Jewish world at large? Because there are so many divisions between the different denominations and the t different uh, you know, uh, political standpoints. Having previously been the Chief Rabbi of Ireland, we came over to London and our first position was at the Western Marble Arch Synagogue. And then three and a half years later, we came to Kinloss in Finchley. And uh, I succeeded Rabbi Isaac Bernstein, Zichron Olivracha. And uh, as you have mentioned, the community had some uh, deep challenges. Mm. Uh, and fortunately, we were able to assist uh, to enable the community to go through a healing process. You've mentioned the importance of unity. That, but before we go there, how did you help to foster that? I mean, what, what, what were the issues um, and how did you sort of deal with them? How did you kind of get people behind, you know, together in a room and get them to start talking and to kind of start having a dialogue with each other? Some of the issues related to personalities and some of the issues related to services, different services that took place and tensions that existed right. between main synagogue service and an alternative minyan. Um, and what I discovered in Kinloss was that the community was made up and continues to be made up of wonderful people, mm. uh, people who genuinely wanted to move forward. Uh, and I was pleased to assist as a catalyst to enable the community to take itself where it really so wanted to go. Um, I think that uh, <laughs> uh, I think that there are a number of ingredients. The first is to show that one's on everybody's side, that one yeah. wants to be a person of peace, one wants to promote peace, one wants to encourage the best parts of the personalities of people to highlight the better side of what is taking place and to be a champion of moving forward uh, and also to provide quality in a community. Kinloss is the most incredible community and continues to be so today having one of the largest synagogue centers yeah. in Europe and um, having a wonderful community to do so many activities. And mm. I was blessed to be able to be there at a time when the community wanted to move forward and they were the ones who actually did that. And unity has always been central to my existence and to my rabbinate. And it's something which I promote and you have correctly asked about unity within the Jewish community. Uh, the analogy that I continuously give is a cricketing one. I believe that we need to be batsmen and not bowlers. Far too often, there are people in organizations whose role it is to bowl the other side out. I believe that's not what we should be doing. Rather, we should be the batsmen to score runs, singles, fours, six, sixes. Let's show the world about the quality that we have got Let's champion what we are about. And in that way, we will define ourselves according to our ideology so that our definition of ourselves will not include what we're not, but just what we are. But isn't the problem that there are so many different groups within the Jewish community who have a different concept of what it is to be a Jew, what it means to be Jewish, who we are? There are some deep divisions there are some distinct and significant differences. And I think it's healthy to have debates. But when it comes to attacking, that is something that should not happen within the public domain. I've made it known that I will never be heard on the record in public attacking any other Jewish denomination. We need to preserve our unity. Mm. At the same time, there is no uniformity because you know, it's healthy to have differences of opinions. It's behind the scenes that I would engage in discussion, in debate, perhaps point out that I'm not too happy about one thing or another. 
It does not serve the community's interest when communal leaders engage in a public attack against other leaders and against other uh, units and organizations within the community. Mm. So as batsmen and not bowlers, it's important that we should always strive to show the best side of what we are about. Not to allow, for example, a fo footballing culture to enter into Judaism. Within the footballing culture, it's common at football stadiums to hear, first of all, a chant in favor of the team you support, and then a chant against the team that you hate. You know, you've got the Spurs, Arsenal, City United kind of syndrome. Why can't we just support what we are about without always having to play down others to determine the definition of who we are according to what we're not? And this is a message I continuously speak about, and I'm pleased to say that it is working.